Hi, my name is Jerry Johnson and this is my goals sheet for my e-portfolio. Uh, personal information about myself, I'm born and raised in Southwest Kansas, I've lived out here all my life. I went to school at Southwestern Heights High School, uh, which is a 3A school that's located in between Plains and Kismet, a very in the far southwest corner of the state. I attended Garden City Community College in 1999, uh, went there on a football scholarship, played for two years, got my um, associate's degree, then moved on to Fort Hayes State University. I uh, played football there, and then I also um, got my undergraduate in history education. I uh, got my first teaching job out of uh, Fort Hayes State University at Scott City uh, Community High School. Taught there for two years before accepting the head football coach and a teaching job at Holcomb High School. I came to Holcomb High School in 2006 and have been there since. I moved from a history teacher that taught government, world history, American history, to teaching weight, strength, and conditioning. Uh, now, currently, about eight years ago, I accepted the role as the high school athletic director. I'm also a high school and the middle school athletic director, as well as an at-risk coordinator. Probably the proudest thing that I am uh, is I'm a husband um, to a wonderful wife, and I also have five kids. We have four boys, and then uh, finally had a daughter. Personal goals. This one's kind of tough for me because I'm not a real goal-oriented guy. I believe that I have passions and I'm going to go after those passions. Um, faith and family are my two biggest passions. Uh, biggest thing that I'm trying to really help right now is to help to establish a new church here in the Garden City uh, area. It's called the High Plains House of Prayer. I also want to be the best dad and husband that I can be. From six to ten years, you know, um, my youngest child is a first grader so my life is not going to change a whole lot for the next 10 to 12 years and the fact that my kids and my faith are always going to be my most important thing and so providing for them and chasing them at their sporting events and different activities that have going on uh, is probably what I mean that's going to be what I'm doing after that then someday work towards retirement to see how much money uh, I have left after all my kids and everything get out uh, professional goals uh, this one was uh, another area where, um, like I said, I'm not a real goal-oriented guy, but I do have a passion for kids, and I never wanted to be in administration. I always wanted to work directly with the kids because that's where I feel like my calling is from God. It wasn't until about two to three years ago where I really felt that I could impact more kids by helping teachers. The better that we can make our teachers around ourselves and um, teach them to be servant leaders and relationship driven the better off that we can reach more kids so that's kind of when I started this process of really kind of wanting to look at it so you know for the next five years what I want to do is try to get an assistant principal job which that's what currently at Holcomb High School they're wanting me to be I'd like to be an assistant principal for two to three years and just learn as much as I can uh, I felt like over the last course the course of the last couple of years is I've I've learned so much more about administration and instructional coaching and um, assessments and stuff like that that it, it, I just really enjoy it I think after that then I don't I don't think but someday I want to leave my own school and, and I know that I either want to be at the high school or the middle school level uh, I, I've never been down to the elementary level besides doing my practicum stuff that I've been doing now um, I have middle school or elementary age kids it's just not my my cup of tea I uh, I like the high school the middle school level so uh, six to ten years I want to be a lead principal and I want to be somebody that um, develops a vision um, the, over the next course of one to five years and then in that six to ten years is be able to share and help work and implement my vision with the school beyond that then um, maybe work towards my district level license. I don't know. Uh, again, right now I'm real, kids are my biggest focus in the relationship with kids and I don't want to lose that. So by moving to the district level. Why FHSU? Uh, to me it's easy because I am a Tiger. Uh, I did my undergraduate degree there. Loved my time there. Spent three years there after the community college. Uh, picked up my degree in the history department there. Uh, Dr. Wilson was one of my favorite teachers and how I modeled my whole teaching career after is from him. Um, and then from there, 
I got a master's in my health and human performance. Um, that's my first master's I got. Initial expectations of the program. Um, coming in, I didn't have any expectations a long, long time ago. I uh, don't have any expectations. Just kind of roll with the punches as you go through. I want to learn as much as I can. I'm a lifelong learner. I love the fact of I don't have an ego and I can be taught on all the different levels and I just want to know as much as I can. I do know that the initial, the classroom stuff, I've really appreciated it and it taught me a lot, but we're going to learn a whole lot more once you get into the field and you actually start to uh, handle some of the situations that some of the case studies came up with. So that's me in a nutshell and um, I'm ready to move forward with my next step here.